So what is the IUPAC name for the compound shown below? So I have drawn it out and made it much bigger on the PowerPoint. So the IUPAC is uh, an organization where all they do is figure out the most proper ways to name molecules. Um, so they s set out a, a number of rules that should be followed based on uh, the functional groups that are present in a molecule. Uh, so now looking at this, what I see first, um, so we have two methyl groups, so these are CH3s, so those are important to consider. As well, we have a carbocycle. So this is because it is a five-membered carbocycle. This is cyclopentane. Uh, so when we are numbering, we want to have the longest carbon chain possible. Um, as well, we want our um, functional groups, our substituents, the extra decorations on our uh, longest linear chain uh, to have the smallest numbers. So in this case, the longest linear chain would be to start with the, uh, the carbocycle, the cyclopentane. So if we're going to start one here, because we want one to include a methyl group. Uh, so we could put two here, but then uh, this methyl group would end up as number five, and we want it to be a shorter number. So this is two, three, four, five. So now the way this is written, so we put our numbers first. So we have one, two, dimethyl. So that accounts for all our substituents, our decorations are accounted for. Uh, so one, two, dimethyl, and we're, it is cyclo, and it is pentane, because it is an alkane. There are no double bonds and no triple bonds. So that's the aim, the ending. Um, so just important to remember, just uh, little nitpicky things, is that to separate numbers, you always use a comma, and there is always a dash between numbers and letters.